Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm diving into some super juicy rumors about Qualcomm's next big thing, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5. And I'll be telling you, if these leaks are true, this could be a game changer for budget smartphones. So grab a snack, get comfy, and let's break this down like we're chatting over coffee. All right, so Qualcomm's got this big event coming up, the Snapdragon Summit on September 23, 2025. They're expected to show off their flagship chip, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2, which is going to be a beast for high-end phones. But here's where things get really interesting. A tipster named Digital Chat Station dropped a bomb on Weibo saying Qualcomm's also working on something called the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5. And this chip, it's not just for the fancy $1,000 plus flagships. Nope, it's aimed at phones that could cost as low as 280 bucks. I mean, come on, that's wild. So what's the deal with this Snapdragon 8 Gen 5? Let's unpack it. First off, it's rumored to use the same 3 nanometer N3P manufacturing process as the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2. Now, if you're wondering what 3NM N3P means, don't sweat it. Basically, it's a super advanced way of making chips that's smaller, more efficient, and packs more power. Think of it like shrinking down a V8 engine into a tiny package that still punches way above its weight. This tech is top tier, usually reserved for those premium phones, so seeing it in a budget chip, that's got me hyped. Not only that, but the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is also said to have custom Orion CPU cores. These are Qualcomm's in-house designs, and they're the same ones used in their flagship chips. Why does this matter? Because these cores are built for serious performance. Think faster apps, smoother gaming, and better battery life. Imagine playing Genshin Impact or Call of Duty Mobile on a $280 phone with no lag. That's the kind of vibe we're talking about here. Now, here's the part that's got me scratching my head. The tipster says phones with this chip could start at just 2,000 to 2,500 yuan, which is roughly 280 to 350 bucks. That's crazy affordable for something with flagship level tech. For context, phones with the current Snapdragon 8, like the ones from 2024, are in super expensive devices. So Qualcomm is basically saying, hey, you don't need to drop a grand to get a killer phone anymore. I'm curious, do you guys think this is too good to be true? Let me know in the comments. Oh, and it gets better. The rumor also mentions that if Qualcomm tries to jack up the price for their chips, there's competition waiting in the wings. MediaTek's Dimensity 9400 Plus and 9500E chips are also expected to power phones in that same $280 to $350 range. Plus, these phones might come with bigger batteries thanks to something called silicon carbon battery tech. I don't know all the details on that yet, but it sounds like it could mean longer battery life, which is always a win in my book. But here's where I gotta pump the brakes a bit. This is all coming from a leak, and leaks aren't always 100% legit. Digital Chat Station has a solid track record, but there's some confusion because they also said Qualcomm might keep selling the older Snapdragon 8 Elite at similar prices next year. So are we getting the 8 Gen 5 and the 8 Elite at these low prices? Or is something getting lost in translation? I'm dying to know what Qualcomm's cooking up at the summit. September 23 can't come soon enough. 3 o'clock. So what's the big picture here? If these rumors are true, 2025 could be the year where budget phones start feeling like flagships. Imagine snagging a phone for under $350 that's got a chip as powerful as the ones in $1,000 devices, plus a beefy battery to boot. That's the kind of deal that makes me want to refresh their shopping apps daily. But like I always say, take these rumors with a grain of salt until Qualcomm makes it official. Alright fam, what do you think? Are you excited for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5? Would you cop a $280 phone if it's got this kind of power? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's get the convo going. If you enjoyed this breakdown, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss our updates when the Snapdragon Summit drops. I'll be back with more tech goodness soon. Peace out.